Now, Paul, at home, my raised bed is only about six inches high. But I think for you, for accessibility, we should build it higher than that. Now, if I come over to the height of your hip here, read about 30 inches. You think that'll work? I think 30 inches would be great. All right, what we're going to use to strip the grass with is a grub hoe. We're just going to take this blade end. We're going to go down underneath the grass, and all you want to do is get rid of that grass for me. So you want to leave the soil behind. You just want to get the grass out, OK? Now, right here, we have a mock-up of our wall. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five timbers above the ground and one below, so six timbers high. So what we have to do now is dig a trench for our first timber. So let's get to work. Slide it in. Okay. Slide your rope out. There we go. That's good. Let's pack some dirt around it. Hold it right in place. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, this is the most important timber, the base timber, so we want to make sure it stays right where we put it, level. And to do that, we're going to drive this half inch by four foot long piece of rebar right through the timber. To do that, we have to drill a hole. This is actually a rotary hammer, and this is going to drive that rebar rod right down. Now all you got to do is finish that off for me. Nice and flush. Okay. Now we're ready to cut the piece for the end. To prevent checking and cracking, we're going to seal the end with an end grain sealer that has wax in it. Good right there. Run the level across. See how we are with the line. Watch your hand. Slide it down a little more. How's that look on the line? I'm good. This is perfect. We're ready to slide another piece down the side. Come right flush to me. All right, slide it right down in place. That's pretty good. Now we'll just level it, re rod it in place. Now we spent a lot of time on the base getting it level and square because we're going to build everything else on top of it. By getting it level and square, it's going to make the rest of our job easy. It's all about spanning the joints. We're going to put this 12 footer on and we're going to line the middle of it right with this joint and that's going to make for a strong walk. We're going to use these timber screws and we're just going to drive them down in and they're going to lock the top piece into the bottom one. One, two, three, four, five courses we've got in, one left to go. So what I'm going to do in the middle is we're going to put two cross pieces. We're just going to screw those down into the row below, and that'll keep the wall from bowing out. This brace is all set, so just take and screw it right in place. OK, put a screw in this one, and we'll go get the next piece ready. Now, we removed the grass in here to help with drainage, but I'm still worried about water getting out. So we're going to drill some weep holes. Fill it right up so you can't see that hole anymore. That'll keep the dirt from clogging it. That end all filled down there, Dante? Yes. Come on down here. So what do you think, Paul? I think it's fabulous. <laughs>